On this floor plan, you are going to see the process flow for ice cream product. First, raw milk is delivered to the plant from the dairy farm, located about 5 miles down the road. Upon receiving, the milk is tested for antibiotic residues to determine acceptability. If the milk is free of antibiotic residues, it is received through piping and flows directly into raw tank 1. The piping is fitted with a filter to remove any large debris that may have gotten into the raw milk at the farm. The milk then passes through the separator to standardize the milk fat content. After separation, the milk is pumped into raw tanks 2 through 5, where additional ingredients are added to make the ice cream base. The raw ice cream base then passes through the high temperature short time or HTST unit where pasteurization and homogenization occur. After the ice cream base has been pasteurized, it exits the HTST unit and flows into pasteurized tanks 4 and 5 for aging. Pasteurized tanks 1 through 3 are used for storage of pasteurized milk and are not involved in the ice cream process. After aging, the ice cream base flows from pasteurized tanks 4 and 5 to the flavor tanks where the final flavors are added to the ice cream base. The flavored ice cream base then passes through the continuous freezer which freezes and churns the flavored ice cream base. Once the ice cream is ready, it exits the continuous freezer and inclusions are added through the fruit feeder. The ice cream is either packaged into 3 gallon tubs or pint containers using the pint ice cream packaging machine. After packaging, all ice cream products are transferred into the walk-in freezer for hardening. When ready to ship, the packaged ice cream is loaded onto a truck parked at the loading dock through the sliding door in the walk-in cooler.